Hey, what's up? What's up? We got a microphone up in this bitch. Yeah, I already covered the tiger belly with Brendan Shaw. Trying to bullshit his way through life, through everything, as you do, or as he does. But Brian Callen made a phone call to Bobby Lee. Bobby, get your bitch in line. <laughs> That's fucking surreal. Brian Callen's the badass push crusher. <laughs> PC bitch. Uh, let's see what's up. Uh, boys! It's the boys. The original back. team is back together. And, and this is a good way to start this because we're going to... I'm calling this podcast The Hammer of Truth. And in and I'm I've, I'm going to start this off by by saying a couple of things. Brian, serious. W yeah. Be now get ready for some fake ass shit. I love you, Bobby. You're my best friend. You're the best comedian in the world. I'm so sorry. Uh, what because... I because... I believe when the chaos hits, you tell the truth. I've always been honest with everybody. Uh, have you though? Did you rape that bitch? Did you? All the fans and everybody listens. No, uh, allegedly. Uh, Bobby, uh, Bobby Lee is somebody I love very much. Uh, here we go again. Oh, quit it. Quit it. Just fucking diss each other. Your comics. Do what you do. Make a funny joke and, and diss whatever, you know? Yes, but Bobby, but people have been talking on, uh, he, he went online and he, he went on and talked about somebody who spoke to him in a very rough, bullying manner, okay? That wasn't anybody but me. <laughs> I'm the guy. Brendan had nothing to do with it. Pussy bully. I'm the guy. I'm the one who did it. Trust me, you're not the guy. Brian, you're not the guy. Not, not Chris, not Theo, not Sam. Not it was me. me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bobby, if when I think did you, it, when did you talk I to spoke him, to me? Bobby. I tried to speak to him after you spoke to Kalila. When I spoke to Bobby, I said to him on the phone, I believe you. And then I thought, I don't know Kalila. I thought that she was, and, and, and let me just say this. And I'm going to, I'm going to explain this, but I want to first own up to everything that I did. Because what I did at the end of the day, the way I spoke to Bobby, who's somebody I love, who didn't deserve the way- You acted like a high school bully. A little kid. I mean, what are you, like 70? Jesus Christ, throw the fuck up, Brian. Well, nobody deserves to be just attacked. And I'm gonna tell you where I was wrong and I'm gonna get specific. But let me start once again by saying, me, I'm the guy, okay? Me. I take full responsibility. I was wrong. I said this to Bobby. I called him up and Bobby read me the riot act. I think if he had been in front of me, he would have fucking punched me. And, and he's justified. And I said, Bobby, you're absolutely right. I apologize. I was wrong. And the, where I was wrong was this. I didn't. Too little, too late. Bobby said in the Tiger Belly episode with Brandon, he's not going to forgive you, I think. Good for Bobby. Friends like this, who needs enemies, right? Assholes. Give Bobby the benefit of the doubt. Let me get into that. Oh, the Bobby's not the Reddit mastermind. Well, no fucking shit. I did not know. I did not know. I, I you never talk about it. And it did, you know, this uh, that's kind of fucking weird that Brandon wouldn't fucking mention if six years he's been uh, fucking okay. I, I know he's been fucking getting a lot of shit, and that's his own fucking fault. For example, why is the fighter and the kid read it so fucking toxic as they say because these assholes are so fucking toxic you reap what you sow you make your bed you lie in it or you lie in it casual double we're very close but think mm -hmm. about this i didn't know that for six years you've been getting crazy not just hate there is a difference guys between hate between making fun of somebody and threats Oh, so you're talking about yourself, right? The threats? Get your bitch in line! I've said this before, but I would really fucking love to hear that phone call. Interference in someone's business and trying to destroy someone's business? That is, there is a very well, big isn't difference between that what between you basically real... tried to do? Destroy Bobby's and Kalila's business, Tiger Belly, with these accusations of fucking pedophiles, abuse of children, what the fuck ever, like... You're talking about yourself, bruh! Physical and cyber threats and, 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 uh, oh and my God, actual cyber threats. harassment, long-term harassment, and just hate. So where's the fucking receipts? Oh yeah, are these the ones you can't talk about? It's classified. I got friends in dark places. <laughs> what the fuck did he say? So stupid. Correct. It's dangerous. Correct. There are people that are not, 
they're not this is not satire this is not hate this is not a hater this is not uh somebody <laughs> isn't everyone a hater though at least according to fucking brandon I mean. somebody being you know funny and it's out there there's some funny hate out there you know i, I look at it but <laughs> yeah we're talking hate about can actual be funny it can be good fuel but it will fucking burn you out man activity correct so what you do in that situation after six years when it gets crazy and scary is you hire professional legal counsel and professionals can I to say, deal with this can i say something yes <clears throat> so no shut up obviously I don't, I don't talk about the the negative stuff i and you you know me better than damn anyone it. i anyone. would say anyone your, yeah, maybe, your brother knows you better maybe maybe uh, you're up there maybe but you know i, I always look but you still didn't know that brenda's being harassed horrendously to six years what the fuck always get life uh as the glass half full always it's just yeah. my nature and i know that stuff is out there and I've always been privy to ignore it. Obviously, you know, especially the way I look and having the. You ain't ignore shit. Because I've had it, it's going to trigger people. And I get all that. I 100% get all that. And I'm sorry. I can't do anything about that. But. Brendan, have you tried not being a total douche? Have you tried not being an asshole? Have you tried not being a fucking dick? Then, you know it gets to a certain point and where you get a fucking mental breakdown you start suing fucking small youtubers false copyright claims you call papa joe rogan whatever sir. when it, they step over the the boundaries of criticism well when it gets step, to your physical safety correct. and your family's physical safety but but and that you know and that, you know, and, and that for sure but then also going after my businesses companies yes. i'm associated with yes then, then you're talking about a legal activity, but then, but then even with all that, I've never brought it up to you guys ever, man. Look, ever. I, I've never but, heard but about be, it. Ever, I didn't hear about ever. it until, until it got so crazy that you had to ever, talk about I, it. it. But it, it got so crazy. And the way it works is one of the reasons I'm at where I'm at. Tell us, Brendan, how something works. I mean, your CTE filled head doesn't. At, whether you think I'm successful or not, that's up for debate is I surround you myself with much that. smarter people. You <laughs> you surround yourself with much funnier people and try to leech off of them, trying to make a good podcast, trying. Mark Catch and, and I'm not saying Brian Callen is, well, obviously he's funnier than Brandon, but he's not funny. Kadoosh, kadoosh, like the, oh, uh, like 10 minute podcast is all good. Like Delia can be funny. Uh, I don't really like his specials much, but when he's off the dome, as you say, he's much funnier than what he's in specials. And Will Sasso, he's the funniest of 10-minute podcasts, like, for sure, for sure. Uh, Will Sasso's new podcast, Dude, it's fucking awesome. You got to check it out, man. Everybody in here is smart me. I'll give you that. That's fine. People out. <laughs> yeah side of this that work and have this engine going my career going are much smarter than me whether my business manager my agents my managers i constantly surround myself with smarter people <laughs> well, that's a good thing like <laughs> have you tried for have you have you, have you ever met a dumber person than you brendan like for real i don't deal with any of that stuff my, being a stand-up comic and you know this better anyway is so tough it's so tough never ends. so my energy goes to that and my kid yeah well i didn't notice that you put in any energy or fucking time to a new special or if you did oh my god like everybody knows it's fucking horrendous like oh shit like you're not a fucking stand-up comic you want to be so fucking hard but you're not. Let's face it. I mean, you are, but you're bad. You're really bad. Kids. That's it, man. Yes. For me to get notified that some illegal activity is going on and that I should do something about it, it has to be do so something. bad. To the point, so bad that this account got alerted. 
So let me hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish this because this is very important. Hold on, let me let me bullshit first so I don't forget what I'm trying to bullshit. (laughs) No, I'm gonna bullshit first. Then you can bullshit some more. Nobody wants me to come on here and talk about you know how my feelings are hurt because that's not the masking thing to do. But I'm telling you now, so all you guys know, it hurts my feelings more than you know, and that's why I'm not on social media. I didn't leave social media because so. So the, this is probably the most honest we've ever seen, Brandon, right? Brandon, Brenda, B. And like, yeah, you can't deal with the hate, but wouldn't you want to be able to handle that shit? You know, like critique and you could grow from that. You could be a better comedian, not just a fucking punchline. I mean, Jesus Christ. Because you don't think I want to see my friends and family and other comics and peers post stuff and stuff like that. No, I, I love that stuff. I left because it was so toxic. It was so evil that I don't want to subscribe to it anymore. And a lot of people can handle social media. God bless you, man. I wish I could. I'm too sensitive. So hold I, up. Yeah, I mean, you can learn to handle it. It can fucking hurt. Anyone who's making content has to deal with that shit. Fucking... Don't do content if you can't handle the critique, right? Right. So when I saw the evidence, people who are professionals... That the- Show us the fucking evidence. Stop talking about it. Classified for our eyes only. They said there is long-term har- harassment and essentially, you know, more than just, more than just hate coming from X, Y, Z. When I saw, I didn't make this stuff up. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, you didn't probably. Brendan did, right? Did he be? Own eyes that X, some of that long-term X harassment was coming from the Tiger Belly hub. Okay? And that's what I saw with my own eyes. When I saw okay. that. So I- what the fuck does that? Uh... What the fuck does that got to do with Bobby? Like, you really... Oh, this is so... This is so much bullshit. I'm getting a fucking migraine. I went into protection mode. I'm a very protective person. That's... So then you attack and harass and bully people. Okay. My brother. I might be too protective, and we're going to get into that too. I might... I've been too protective, probably. If Brendan Shop's inner circle would have been more fucking straightforward, honest, Honest about his comedy, a lot of things, you know, a lot of this shit wouldn't have happened, you know? To be protective, but I am. I'm a ride or die fucker. Now, I, so what I did Fuck was us. I went into protection mode, I saw red, and I assumed the worst about Bobby and about Kalila. After speaking to Bobby, I realized, I really believe that he has nothing to do with it. I don't think he even knows anything about it. I believe him. And I said Some that on the phone. Shit, I, said, said on the phone. I said, I believe uh, you, Bobby. And what, and, what and, I, then, and what I tell you, B, when I spoke to him, within you the talk, first hold on, let me five do it. Minutes. Let me do it. Let me handle yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead. Let me, well, I still remember it. Let me bullshit my way through. Uh, our way through. You spoke to Kalila. And yes. you called me right away and you said, dude, I believe her. Mm-hmm. I don't think Kalila or Bobby have anything to do with this. Mm-mm. So then what I did was I called Bobby. This is, this is I don't know, a week ago, more than that, or 10 days ago. I called Bobby, he didn't answer. I called him the next day, he didn't answer, and I got it. I was like, he's, he must be so pissed off. Well, I mean, uh, honestly, again, with friends like these, who needs enemies? Assholes! Pissed off at me. He must have been so, so pissed off, because once again, let me say this. The way I spoke to Bobby is unacceptable. The way I spoke to Bobby, and he said something to me that, re- that I, I have, I'll never forget. He said, I've been bullied by guys like you my whole life, and it stops now. I'm not a bully. <laughs> you are a bully. What was this thing? I remember Bobby talked about Brian Callen and Matt TV days. They were together on like ages ago. Bobby was saying something like he was really bitter, like Brian Callen being an asshole, like, have you tried taking acting lessons? The way Bobby described it, it wasn't like, I mean, you can say that in a fucking nice way, but like, you a fucking bully. But I, but if he said that, he was fucking right. He was right. Yeah. I own it. 
I was outside myself. And when you fuck up and I fucked up like that, I'm going to take ownership. Okay. It doesn't matter how angry I was. It doesn't matter that I was protecting him. It's like, it's like when I, I thought I was thinking about this. Sometimes you don't, you don't get a pass. It's like a guy who beats his wife. And then you go, you beat your wife and the guy goes, I know, dude, but she makes me so angry. <laughs> not an excuse. That's not right. Not a fucking excuse. But to so I that's good coming from you. I don't know if you're beating anyone or being accused of beating, but you've been accused of raping <coughs> someone. Uh, allegedly. Yeah. Be fair to yourself. I, I appreciate well, you on NBA. I'm sure they appreciate it. Have any problem, you know, uh, owning up to and facing up to when I, and I when I am outside myself. No, and I appreciate that, B, yeah, but, I, but I also think, you know, and I'm going on Tiger Belly to address it too. It's like, and I think Bob and Clyde will also own up. And Clyde said this. Because, you know, their email, email. Own up what? I mean, Kalila's got a lot of shit to own up. But, <laughs> allegedly. Emails associated with this and there's other stuff associated with well, this Well, it's account. an ongoing investigation. It's an ongoing investigation. And I will say this, guys. Fuck I will off. say this, too. And this is what I heard from what I, what I can only accept as a reliable source. I'm not a tech guy. I don't do this stuff. No, I don't know anything about this. Yeah. But what I heard reliably from what I believe is a reliable source is since we have confronted them, and I'm I'm not saying that Bobby or Kalila know anything about this I don't or have do. anything. I truly believe they no. don't have anything to do with it. Fuck off. But somebody on their team does. Well, it, the harassment team, team, team the was fucking stopped from that account, and that account got yeah. changed. Well, ain't ain't that what, convenient? Oh, fuck off! And you brought up on Tiger Belly, yeah. okay? You guys get me so fucking angry, for real. And we're just being honest. Uh, this drama, I, I'm way too old to deal with it, but, but no I'm fucked shit. up. And so once fucking again, grandpa. here's what I have to say. I'm the guy. Direct your hate at me. I take. You're not the guy. Trust me, Brian. You're not the guy. Full responsibility. Bobby, I love you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was wrong. I was 100% wrong. Here. You didn't deserve that. I should have given you the benefit of the doubt. I should have spoken to you first. How the fuck did I think a guy as sweet as you, as special as you, as giving as you, as funny as you, would ever do something like that? I, I, how would I think that? I got fucking deranged. I was listening and I, I didn't do my due diligence. Um, if someone actually told you that this shit was happening and you actually believed it, I mean, how fucking dumb are you? But i don't it's all bullshit that's all i gotta that's all i have to say about this that's last let, day let then me, christian got a new job yeah, full-time gig let me he, button he this moved up. on yep let me button this up let me say this one more time so there's no confusion bobby i'm sorry okay well i guess that's it i want to see the evidence though i think it was on trash tuesday i, I haven't watched it i've seen the thumbnail and they have this evidence i want to cover that that shit too so yeah i guess it's bye for now like and subscribe uh, i mean uh, like and subscribe real camera sorry